Good morning. Welcome to Four Acres. Hey, there's Randy Cat. And there he goes. Project of the day is to get the garden going. As you can tell, it is beautiful outside. It is 85 degrees. It feels so good. And I haven't gotten our garden ready for the year at all. It's time, probably past time to be honest. I'm Gardening is something I'm not very good at and I aspire to be good at. I learn best by making mistakes and unfortunately with gardening, when you make a mistake, you sort of need to figure it out and then the next year, try again. I really should start a garden journal, I think, keeping track of, of how the gardening goes every year. Maybe I'll do that. So we need to get the garden tilled and then get some plants in. It is due to rain tomorrow. I have a tiller that a friend of mine gave me for free last year. I got it up and running. It's been sitting here in the basement of our garage all winter long. So it's time for us to try to get this thing started and see if I can get it running and till our garden. I grabbed some ethanol free fuel at the local gas station and I've got some starter fluid as well. Hopefully we can get this thing running. I know the tires are flat too, so I'll, if I can get it running, I'll drive it up around top to the air compressor, fill the tires, and then we will till the garden. A little worried this is gonna be an exercise in frustration and it's just gonna turn into a giant video of me trying to get the tiller running and then end with me hand tilling the giant garden. We'll find out. <laughs> Stick around, let's go. better than I thought. Right now I'm gonna grab the big lawn mower and the cart and pull it up into that garden area so I can pull the chunks of grass out and rocks and whatever else shouldn't be in the garden. Also I need to bring a hose up top and one or two tools to sort of rake out the garden so it's a little more level. As much as I love baseball hats, I'm kind of feeling like I need a better hot weather sunny hat. That is perfect. <laughs> I have some help. The girls have come. Bertha and Old Red. Old Red's the oldest of our chickens. Bertha, the largest of our chickens. Did I mention the weather's nice? Like, beautiful. Can't tell you how lovely it is not to be cold anymore. And here we are, it's the next day. I got some plants, not a lot. The, all the places I went had very little when it came to plants. Much to my great disappointment, I couldn't even find seed potatoes and I came home just to check my potatoes and they haven't started sprouting yet. I do have some seeds to plant. I've got some herbs and some veggies to plant. I got some onions to plant and then I grabbed an onion that was sprouting in the closet. I'm gonna plant it just to see what happens. I have no idea what will happen with it, but I figured, what the heck, why not? Okay, beginnings of a layout. God, this looks sparse. It's gonna fill up once I get some more plants in place. I also wanna get but we're not there yet. We're gonna do onions there, where those lines are. 
We're gonna do potatoes all along the back there, which I don't have yet. I did get two different kinds of onions. I got these grow your own onion sets that look like that. And then I bought these, which look like this. Not sure which is gonna work better. I have no idea. We'll find out. And then I've got this single <laughs> sprouted onion. I'm super curious to see how this turns out. Uh, so we'll plant this on the end so we can keep an eye on it. Let's get to it. of our garden here in Vermont. Lots more to do, lots of plants to find still. I'm gonna have to do some more driving to see if I can find seed, toma seed tomatoes, seed potatoes somewhere. Will my experimental house onion bloom? Will all of our seeds grow? Did I space things out properly? All questions that will be answered in the future. Keep on checking back. I'll keep on doing garden updates as we go. We've got our tomatoes along the side here. I'm not sure if that was a good idea or a bad idea. Probably a bad idea, but they're in the ground, so that's better than nothing. It's now late afternoon. I got a bunch more to take care of today here at Four Acres. So I'm gonna let all of you go. Thank you so much for hanging out with us here on our homestead, Four Acres in Southern Vermont. We appreciate you very much. Always do the best you can with what you got, and we'll see you around. Take care. I know I just ended the video, but you have to check this out. That is due east of us. The beautiful blue sky, white clouds. Looks awesome, doesn't it? It's gorgeous outside. That is due south of us. Dark gray clouds. Heather's down that way. She's about 12 miles south of us right now. She says it's raining down there. And that is north of us. Dark clouds. Looks like it's got a thunderstorm. I have a feeling. Oh, and if we go this way, the clouds are coming. I think it's gonna rain soon. Perfect for the garden. Gotta take care of some other stuff right now. You have a great day. Bye. Don't eat the spray foam. Don't eat the spray foam. <laughs> hey, hey. Not a worm. The R value of my chickens is amazing. Let's do it. Get a drink. <laughs>